Hi there, and welcome to the channel. This week I've got a brand new tripod. It's by a company called Three Legged Thing. It's from their Punks range, and it's called Billy. And this is it. It's small, isn't it? Comes in this rather nice little pouch. And that's it. So if this is the first time you've seen something on this channel, this is not a channel that I do a lot of gear reviews in. It's a, a channel around photography, particularly landscape photography. And uh, on it, I um, try and give you tips and ideas about how you can improve your own photography as I try and improve mine. It's a carbon fiber um, tripod. Um, it's about 1.3 kilograms. Um, it's about 15 inches long uh, when all folded down, so it will fit nicely on the back of your uh, camera bag. It'll pack uh, for any travel that you might be taking it on, uh, and it's just really nice. So I'm going to show you some of the features uh, of the tripod, and it'll help you to decide whether this is a tripod that you would want. I'm going to tell you firstly why I bought this. The previous um, tripod that I had failed and I didn't want to be in a position where my tripod was going to fail again so I needed to get a new one. And I had a look around a, a bunch of different uh, manufacturers and I kept on coming across this sort of three-legged thing. And so I contacted them uh, through Twitter and I said, well, what I'm really looking for is a lightweight tripod. Um, I do a lot of traveling, so I want something that is uh, going to be packable, easy to carry overseas, easy to get into your uh, backpack uh, and, and take traveling. Um, but I want, I want a full functioning landscape tripod. So... Um, to be a really secure one. And the thing that I was going to say about three-legged thing is that I said that I needed um, as small as possible, as light as possible, but fully functioning. And the representative from three-legged thing came back to me and said, these are the options that I would be looking at and help me to secure down to the level that um, I was happy purchasing the, the Billy. Now, the interesting thing was, um, one of the other options that I was looking at was over £100 more expensive and I was expecting them to try and direct me towards that more expensive tripod, but they didn't. They really respected what I was trying to find and picked out the one that really I think is going to work best for me. So that's great. The other thing that we're, I'm really impressed with the three-legged thing is when I made my order, I also ordered a um, one of their L brackets, these colourful... Uh, bronze L brackets, but I bought the wrong size uh, and so I phoned them up and uh, they changed it up no problem uh, very quickly uh, and um, there was a small reconciliation on the, the finance and uh, that was done straight away. So I've been really impressed by Three Legged Thing as a company. Um, the design is great. I'm really happy. I like the 
the colour, everything in uh, photography seems to be black, um, but um, with the, this extra colouring, the blue and the gold stands out nicely to me and I think is uh, a style that I quite like, so I'm happy with that. So this is the tripod out of its package. So the tripod has three leg sections and um, the, the, um, the locks are turn locks. You can release all three in one go. And it takes about three quarters of a turn to turn the lock and then another three quarters of a turn to um, release it again. Nice and easy. The tripod has a central column which can be removed and taken out. It can be reversed so that you can hold the camera underneath um, the tripod legs under here. It has just two controls, one for panning and one for setting the, uh, ball, um, the ball head. There's a level on the tripod itself and there's also uh, a level on the Arca Swiss plate. The sensor column can be removed. It's quite simple, there is a little locking nut underneath the central column which can be removed and then take the uh, centre column out. The central column lock can be removed. Then you can remove the uh, ball head uh, from the central column and that can be re-secured to the, um, the tripod itself. This securing plate screws back onto the head of the tripod and the, uh, and the ball head then retreat, uh, returns. So now the camera is just about a kilogram uh, in weight. And for me, uh, because I'm quite short, uh, traveling without the center column means that I can get the tripod to pretty much head height without carrying that extra minimal weight. You'll definitely want to put the... With the centre column out, you can see how close to the ground the tripod could be set up. And... You can see that the tripod with the camera on top would only just be about six inches off the, um, uh, off the floor, so it can be used as a um, tabletop tripod. But there is an intermediate um, angle for the tripod and then a third angle um, which is for standard use. So all in all, uh, a pretty um, versatile um, set of angles that you can use and of course each leg can be set up uh, individually if you're in a location where you've particularly in rocking ground you've got some rocks higher than the other and you can set up your tripod to suit the uh, topology of the uh, place that you're shooting from. In terms of design and engineering um, I'm pretty impressed the um, obviously it's very lightweight but the um, the materials used um, for the various parts um, are very well manufactured. It feels nice, it feels secure. Um, I feel confident that this tripod isn't going to let me down. Now, of course, because we're in lockdown at the moment, I can't go out and uh, check it and see what it, um, how it operates in the field. But I'm pretty confident that it's going to um, suit my needs, which is a lightweight tripod, which I can take anywhere with me, it can, um, I can use it for traveling, I can take it and pack it in my bag, it's easily fit into a suitcase or a backpack. Uh, and for hiking, it's so lightweight, it can just um, sit on the side of my bag, it's lighter than my previous tripod, which was a travel tripod, um, and so I'm, I'm pleased that it's, um, it's there and it's going to be able to, to be carried for, for miles and miles. Uh, one other nice to have is a little uh, tool which they include, which has got a, um, a little Allen key to secure the, um, the plate to the camera uh, and also uh, a little 
um, flathead screw, um, and then you can clip it uh, onto the tripod head. Um, and so it's always to hand. So I haven't taken this tripod out yet. We're still under lockdown here in the UK, uh, but I'm looking forward to that. Uh, and when I've used it for a while, I'll give you an update video on how I found it in the field uh, after a number of months use. I hope this uh, video has been useful to you um, and helped you to decide whether you want to um, buy this tripod or go off for look for something else. Uh, I, I'm happy to hear any discussion um, below. Just post any of your questions um, down below and I'll get back to you. Um, and I'd like to say thanks for looking in and bye for now.